trending in the world of sports. The Chicago Blackhawks facing another major lawsuit after another former player alleges former video coach Brad Aldrich sexually assaulted him during the 2009-2010 season. The Chicago Tribune is reporting the unnamed player was a teammate of former Blackhawk Kyle Beach who settled with the club in November of, or excuse me, in December of 2021 over similar accusations. Jason Gaidola joining us now live tonight with all the details. Hey, Jason. Hey, Matt. Again, the lawyers here are uh, saying that uh, this lawsuit or the allegations are coming from a John Doe, and they went on to claim that there was an uh, institutional cover-up to protect an abusive coach all during the Blackhawks Stanley Cup run more than a decade ago. Since settling a sexual assault lawsuit from one former player nearly two years ago, the Chicago Blackhawks are poised for litigation once again, as an ex-teammate of Kyle Beach claims he was also sexually assaulted by former video coach Brad Aldridge. Today, lawyers at Romanucci and Blandin say a John Doe from the 2010 Stanley Cup team is suing the club in what the lawyers say was an institutional cover-up to protect the abusive coach who groomed, harassed, threatened, and assaulted our clients. There is no doubt that in these situations, uh, people who have been abused sexually take time for them to come forward. And when they see that other people come forward, that gives them the path to follow. According to court documents, the plaintiff is looking for at least 250,000 U.S. dollars in damages on counts of negligence, inflicted emotional distress, and gender violence. Having somebody like Kyle Beach, who was a known player, someone who was very well known to come forward, that's what gave him the courage. Um, you know, people say, oh, this, this is a money grab. It, it's, it's not. I mean, ultimately, there will be, hopefully, some financial compensation. The Chicago Tribune initially reported the lawsuit's filing last week. The current plaintiff was a member of the Black Aces squad, a unit made up of minor league players who traveled with the team and worked with Aldridge. Now, Black Ace One was someone that was looked at as a, someone who could potentially corroborate Beach's story and as another case that would either lend or, or dismiss credibility to Beach's claim. So it wasn't a deep dive into Black Ace One. The lawsuit goes on to claim video boss Brad Aldridge was threatening the plaintiff's career if he reported the actions. And the Blackhawks took no action because the team didn't want a disruption during its championship run. The Black Aces were like a traveling prospect squad that if there was an injury or suspension or something happened to a starting player, um, they had a ready-made replacement uh, that was uh, ready to go. So, uh, you know, generally there are a lot of call-ups uh, at the end of NHL seasons. After winning the cup and a probe into Beach's claims, a report said that the Blackhawks gave Aldridge an option of resigning or be part of an investigation. Aldridge opted to leave and is now a registered sex offender. The Chicago Blackhawks tell CHCH is trending now. We commissioned an extensive independent investigation into the troubling events that occurred in 2010 and implemented numerous positive improvements throughout our organization to ensure the safety and well-being of our players and employees. And the Chicago Blackhawks went on to say that they're, until they learn more about the pending litigation, they're not going to comment on the specifics of the lawsuit. We also reached out to the National Hockey League today to see if they'll be taking any further action against the hockey club, and we've yet to hear back.